going on guys? Welcome back here to a brand new series here on NBA Live Mobile. Again, Happy New Year guys. I know it's a little bit late to start a brand new NBA Live Mobile series, but you know, I wanted to start something new, a brand new series that could definitely revamp this channel, make something better out of it, because obviously guys know your Mad Mobile Team series has kind of died down. I want to do something with NBA Live Mobile here, and that's what we're doing today. So again, Happy New Year. I hope this is going to be a great video to start off the whole new year. Again, thank you guys so much for a great 2016 as well. It was definitely a real, really nice return, obviously, if you guys did not know. Came back in around March or February or something like that after a year hiatus. So that's been a while. But again, right here with this brand new series, it is called Ballin or Fallen. So pretty self-explanatory, as you can see by the thumbnail photo. We're going to either be Ballin, which is making our team to a full elite team, or we're going to be Fallen, which is Bronze Team, which is obviously what we're going to be starting out with. So essentially, this series is going to be a very similar form to like a Road to Glory series. If you guys do need examples to watch, I'll leave a link down below to uh, my man, Jay Diesel. He has a great series, Bronze to Elite. I do recommend watching that one. Plaxico Gaming, he has Trash the Cash. also recommend watching that one. As well as, obviously, Uber YouTuber, who has his new Grind to Glory. So those three series I definitely do recommend. I'm actually currently in their league with this backup account, which is what I'm running the whole new series on. So make sure you guys go check out her channels as well as their new series. So again, what we're doing is going to be building up our lineups here. So as you can see right now, our current lineups, nothing's very great. I'm a level 8 because I had to get to a level 5 to join a league, and then I had to play a league versus league tournament, and every single time I played boosted me up a level so I do apologize for kind of skipping the basics but you know I thought it would be kind of boring if I went through all of that anyway so what we're doing is really similar to Jay Diesel's way is we're going to be building one lineup at a time we're going to be starting with the two-way going to the small ball going to the defensive big man and then going to the shooting lineup and the winter lineup will obviously disappear within a matter of days so moving along to the two-way lineup what our goal is going to be is to make everyone silver so everyone has to at least go up one level so you can't go from bronze to gold, bronze to elite, or something like that. You have to go to bronze, silver, silver to gold, gold to elite. So that's how the whole series is going to work. So once we get a full silver lineup and two-way lineup, we're going to move to the small ball, move to the defensive, and move to the big man lineup. So you guys are going to have to recommend a load amount of players, but otherwise I'll choose them myself. Going to find some cheap beasts on the market. So that's where how your Mad Mobile Team series is implemented into here. At the end of every episode, not entirely too sure how long each episode will be, but at the end of the episode, you guys are going to be feel free to comment down a player or comment down multiple silver players because that's what we're going to be needing for the two-way lineup, possibly even the small ball lineup if we reach there as well. So it's going to be a long grind, obviously, to this whole series. It's going to be long videos as well, but I hope you guys do like that because my videos are fairly short. I wanted to kind of make it stretch out a little bit longer. Like, obviously, Plaxico, J Diesel's, their videos are crazy long, like 25 minutes or something like that. But again, right here, there's currently our two-way lineup. We got Dunleavy and Winter, Trevor Booker, and Ronnie Price, Elliot Williams, as well as Cole Aldrich. So what we're going to be doing, as you guys see in the thumbnail as well, there's a wheel in the background. So that wheel is pretty much the whole basis of this series. So I'm using this based off Spencer FC. He's a great FIFA YouTuber. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel down below as well. Probably one of the most exciting series I've ever watched. Wheel of Foot Tune. It's based off FIFA Ultimate Team. And that series is definitely a great series where he uses a wheel. And that wheel depicts whatever happens inside FIFA Ultimate Team. So what we're going to be doing is a similar concept using the wheel. But it's going to be based on NBA Live Mobile. So you guys will see the wheel in a little bit. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the live event screen. I'll probably pop up the wheel somewhere here on the screen. We're going to go ahead and click spin. And let's see what we get here. So the spinning, the wheel is spinning. And it looks like we have landed on a head-to-head -head matchup. So as you can see by the wheel, there's tons of challenges. They'll be updated, obviously, as we go. And based on, like, there's going to be head-to-head -head game. Season game, there's going to be live events that we do. There's going to be a ton of stuff, but everything is based on the wheel. Obviously, there's bad things like Bankrupt, where we lose all of our coins. We have to start from scratch, but we don't lose a player. And we also have things like challenge times. We have two NBA Live Mobile challenge times, where essentially it's going to be like stuff like use a full bronze team, only half-court shots, only three-point shots. You guys get the point. And obviously, there's a risk and there's a reward in that. So if you guys do not fail 
or do fail that challenge, which is every single game is going to be a head to head based on those NBA Live challenges. We need to score at least 10 or more points. And if we fail to score 10 or more points, we're going to have to lose the lowest rated or lowest overall player on the team. And obviously, if we win, we're rewarded with something such as maybe like a buy a player or even buy a pack if we have the sufficient amount of coins to do so. So as we have a head to head game, we're going to go ahead and jump into a head to head game. My game did crash, so I do have a current one. We're just going to jump right into this one. It's Luke the Baller here we're facing. We're starting with our two-way lineup because we're making our way kind of similar to Jay Diesel's style. So right here, Dunleavy is a deadly shooter, actually. So we're going to really try to use Dunleavy into incorporating three-pointers as well. So let's see what we can do. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be spinning the wheel at least two times per series. It could go to three. It really depends how long each series is because I know it's going to be rending forever every time I'm going to upload a video. So again, hope you guys do enjoy this video. But Dunleavy, he's got some pretty good three-pointer right there. He splashes a triple. Obviously, he's a really good role player. He's always been a pretty solid shooter. So we're definitely going to use Dunleavy's advantage here. And Ronnie Price with that steal. Okay, can he do something about it? Trevor Booker, I don't know if he can shoot three-pointers. But right there, he drains a triple. So we're up 8-2. to two. Looks like we'll be able to clear the 10-point. But I mean, this is just a head-to-head -head game. It's just a regular. And Ronnie Price with another steal. Can he throw alley-oop to Cole Aldrich? Okay, that was a fail. Come on, let's get something here. Let's bat it to Elliot Williams. Can he drive in? He loses the ball. Gives to Ronnie Price. Ronnie Price gives a pump fake. Ronnie Price drives in and he misses as Cole Aldrich has great defense right there. But we're still six points up. I don't think there's any reason to worry. And based on the series, I this series will it's gonna be hard for me to record every single day because it's such a big recording that I will only have time to record these on like Saturdays or Sundays. So you guys might see them spread out across the week. I'll probably have try at least one upload per week. Elliot Williams with the triple right there is no good. I don't think any of the bronze players I do have are really good at three pointers besides Mike Dunleavy. But um, yeah, you guys get the. Oh my gosh, that was terrible defense. Jakar Sampson right there with that crazy dunk. So let's hit back Dunleavy. They're kind of really laid back on that three pointer. And that was a little bit too deep. Hits the rim once, does not go in. But again, I'll try my best to upload this series as much as possible because I want this series to really thrive. And I hope you guys do want it as well. So if you guys could drop a like, really, and subscribe if you're new because you definitely really want to follow this series because I know it's going to be lit. Okay, there's okay, there's three seconds left. Bino knocks down a shot. So I'm going to try to shoot one up here with Ronnie Price. Get enough separation. That's good for three, and he misses that one. So we still win. Obviously, 8-6, to six, he's not really that great of a three-point shooter. So that kind of checks off our head-to-head -head challenge. So right there, we complete it. That's part of the wheel, and we move on forward. So now we're going to have to spin the wheel again to see what we get. So right here, and we've been promoted to Rookie 3, eligible to earn 100 bonus fans for each completed rival. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, we're going to have to wait his return. So a lot of the stuff will be happening off-camera as well because I won't have time. But obviously, I'm going to be busy during the week, so I won't be playing as much as the middle of the week, obviously, as well. So you guys shouldn't be missing extremely too much. I might go up a level or something like that, but no worries about that. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel again. Let's see what we're going to get. And let's see. Okay, the wheel is spinning. And we get ourselves our first NBA Live Mobile Challenge time. So this is going to be very interesting. So you guys can also recommend challenges down below. I'll definitely take your recommendations. But right now, challenges are limited just because of our lineup. So really, the challenges are going to be much more expansive. And they're going to be edited, obviously, by me by the time we move up all of our teams. And as you see, the challenge time is what we're going to be getting. So I do have a separate wheel. I'm going to pop up as well. We're going to spin that wheel. So these are the specific challenges that we will be getting. So we have different lineup uses, like using the shortest lineup, using the tallest lineup, stuff like that. So it's very interesting. And obviously, there's a risk and a reward. So as you can see, let's go ahead and go into our team. So it looks like we got the winter lineup. So that's actually really good. That's actually the best one out of all of those challenges because that's actually the good positive one. I want to utilize that lineup because obviously, we only have three days remaining. This is our best lineup, 72 overall, full silver. I guess you could consider it full silver, but a um, really nice team. We're going to go ahead into a head-to-head -head game. And the whole challenge is to reach 10 or more points. So if we do fail 10 or more points and we get like 8 points, 
for example, what will be happening is we're going to have to quick sell our lowest overall player. So, for example, let's go back into our lineups. As of now, right now we're going to have to quick sell Georges Niang if we're failing this challenge and we happen to lose and not get ourselves eight or more points. So that's the whole predicament of this whole challenge. And we're going to go ahead and move on to a head-to-head -head game. So it's another head-to-head -head game. We're going to go against... Let's go against the Lakers. My Lakers, not my Lakers, my Celtics against the big rival Lakers. Obviously, the rivalry's kind of died down because the team's uh, obviously not with the big three and Kobe anymore. But we're going to go ahead and use our winter lineup to the full advantage. And if we do win, we do get a positive, which is obviously open up a pack. And as of now, I'm going to be opening up a beginner pack because those uh, pro packs are a little bit uh, pricey because we're not going to have any more coins to spend on other additional players. But that beginner pack should definitely be helpful. And once, obviously, our full lineups have been all silver, we'll be upgrading those to pro pack challenges. And we get the steal right there by Isaiah Whitehead. That is awesome. Who's this? Gary Harris? Gary Harris with the triple. That's what I'm talking about. So let's move on here. Let's guard Mario Chalmers here. Chalmers. Another steal. Dude, Gary Harris is a picky person right there. Mario Chalmers. Trying to drive that in. No good. Isaiah Whitehead with the rebound. Gary Harris, he says, I'm going to pop another triple because I'm feeling it. He does misses that one. So, Mejri with the rebound. And he's trying to drive it up court or something like that. Okay. We got to score something because we do not want to risk anything getting lower than 10 points. Because a silver player is extremely valuable in our lineup. Gary Harris with another triple. There we go, Gary Harris. Six points within the first minute. Even a little more than a minute. That is solid right there. So what we want to do is really play defense and make them get the quick shot off or obviously just try to, you know, steal the ball away from them. So Isaiah Whitehead, I'm not entirely too sure if he's a good shooter or not. Let's see right here. Is he a good shooter? Isaiah Whitehead, and he misses that one. Oh, dear. This is not good. Only 45 seconds remaining. We're at the score in two possessions. I'd rather let them score and try to get the ball back as fast as possible. So there's no need to take a three-pointer in this opportunity. We can just go ahead and take a simple jumper at the two-point right there, wide open. That's what that was wide open, honestly. Isaiah Whitehead, you gotta be kidding. And full-blown defense, Booker right there with the dunk. So we still have a chance. We want to get this off quick enough. Let's try to move that. Okay, come on, get that in, Booker. Get that in. There we go. Okay, eight points right here. So we need 10 points to clear the maximum or clear the minimum line here. I'm going to try to let them score, actually. I'd rather let them drive it in, and we can get ourselves our ball back here. And I want to, come on, let's go. Let's, let's see what we can do. Okay, Gary Harris with a spin. No. Gary Harris, that's a plus 10. Right there, we get it. Oh, what a shot right there. What a shot, Gary Harris. With 0.4 seconds remaining, that's what I'm talking about, Gary Harris. Splashing that fadeaway three-pointer. Kind of an unnecessary fadeaway, but that is lit. Okay, so we do pass the threshold, and we pass 10 points. Obviously, once we move our lineups to gold lineups, that's when we'll be switching to actually like 12 points or above because obviously we're going to have better teams, and it's going to obviously 10 points is going to be getting too easy after that. So again, we win that challenge. So by winning that challenge, we are granted a pack we're going to go ahead to player packs here. And we're going to be opening up a beginner pack because that's what we won. And yeah, for now, once we have a full gold lineup, we'll be upgrading to pro packs. But as of now, the reward is a beginner pack. So obviously, that's only if we can afford it. But if we can't, that's going to be a downside. But obviously, it contains a silver player. Chance of a gold, There's you never know. Let's see what we get. So we get Bruno Cablico right there. I think he's, I don't know if he's like uh, from uh, Brazil or something like that. We get ourselves Jan Mahimi. So Jan Mahimi, a better overall center for a two-way lineup. So that's good, actually, because our two-way lineup is the first lineup we need to improve. So actually, we don't even need to fill in that two-way lineup. So right here, pretty good stats. Definitely a solid center. And Cole Aldrich, again, we got the same exact player. So we're going to update the team. Jan Mahimi is going to plug right into that squad. So as of today, I think I'm just going to be doing two spins. I'm not so sure how in the future what it will go. But right now, here's the team, right? So we got ourselves two open spots to fill out. We need a two-way small ball, not two-way small ball, just a two-way point guard as well as a two-way shooting guard. 
So we're going to need to find replacements for Ronnie Price as well as Elliot Williams. So comment down below. We need a point guard two-way lineup silver player. Make sure silver to replace Ronnie Price as well as a two-way shooting guard silver player for Elliot Williams. So those are two players we need to replace. I'm guessing they're 1K a pop for each silver player. So we might as well move on to the small ball lineup as well. So I want you guys just to choose any position. Let's say point guard, shooting guard as well. Let's upgrade those to silvers. Let's make Eric Green to a silver. Elijah Millsap to a silver as well. Kind of want to keep my Celtic guys there. You know, the young guys, James Young and Jordan Mickey right there. So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and comment down those four players. I'll probably give you guys a reminder in the comments down below or even the top of the description. But again, I want to give a big shout out to my man, Juiced Up, for making the thumbnail for this series. The thumbnail is absolutely lit, so go check out his channel. His link is down below in the description. But again, that is it for this series, or for this episode of series number one of Ballin' or Fallen. But again, if you guys could drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, that'd be very appreciative. But again, Happy New Year, and I'll catch you guys next time in another video. Peace.